In my last video, I explored playing The Sims 4 in VR, and in that video I said, I don't recommend anyone actually play the game this way, but if enough people ask in the comments, maybe I'll make a video tutorial how to do this. And immediately I had like 500 comments all asking me how to do it. So as promised, here is a video explaining what I did. And everything I do will work for most games, but I am really going to just focus on The Sims 4. Obviously, the first step is to download Vorpex, which is a weird little program that lets you play non-VR games in VR. It works for a whole mess of games, and there's a list of recommended ones on the website, but the only one we care about, of course, is The Sims 4. Now getting everything launched is actually really easy, but specific, so you have to do it in this order. First, launch Steam VR. Then, go down to your Start menu and go to Start Vorpex and then run The Sims 4. And The Sims doesn't have to be in your Steam library either. I have it on my Origin account and it runs just fine. In fact, after you've hit the Start Vorpex button, pretty much every application, including Photoshop and, and whatever else you've got on your computer, is gonna to try to run in VR. So make sure when you're done, you go down to your taskbar and you hit the Close or the Exit Vorpex because otherwise you're just not gonna have a good time. Hey, and I know you wanna ask, Hey Smash, everyone calls me Smash, can you play this on a Quest 2? And yes, you can actually, and in fact you can do it wirelessly. In my previous Sims 4 VR video I was using Virtual Desktop, and for this one I tried using the new Oculus Air Link feature, and you can also do it with a link cable. And once you're in The Sims 4, it's not terribly complicated, uh, there's just three functions you need to know. One is the mouse wheel button which will pop you in and out of immersion mode and this is useful for if you're using menus if you're going into the build mode where being in VR and having the screen move with you is not practical you know you want to look around to where you're building the next button is shift tab shift plus tab and this is what is going to pop you into first person mode uh, and this is a feature added to the sims in 2019 so anytime you want to look in around in first person, just press shift and tab, and anytime you need to exit back out of that, same same command. And the final button is delete on your keyboard, and that's gonna open up the Vorpex menu. Now, I can't remember what was the default, because I've changed them all to try to make it work for me. So, I'm gonna show each of the screens on here now, so you can pause it accordingly. Uh, every game, you're gonna want to have different options, so definitely play around with it. I definitely don't have it perfect, so, Hopefully one of you can figure out a way that's going to make the game feel a little less nauseating. And my final tip, if you are using a quest or anything with hand tracking, is go to the final option here and turn off the hand tracking, because otherwise, even when your controllers are nowhere in sight, it's going to track your hand, and by default it looks like a controller, and it's really going to cause some weird issues. It's going to pop you in and out of immersion mode and I, I really don't even know why it does everything. So make sure you turn off this function because you're not going to like it. And that should do it. So if you have any questions, please uh, put them in the comments. I will reply to them. And hopefully you should now be able to play The Sims in VR and, and hopefully have a good time with it. I played it for three hours. Uh, you know, a little bit queasy. The mouse makes you look and as well as moving the headset makes you look around so uh, you know you're, it's something you're gonna have to get used to and having to jump out of first person mode just to open doors is a little frustrating but you get so used to it so uh, hopefully you guys have fun and definitely comment if you tried this and got it to work I really want to make sure that other people are having uh, success with this and as always a like and subscribe would be appreciated but no pressure from me Yeah.